So what's going on? So it's the BT Award show or something on, which is always usually lame. The only thing I ever like is when they do tributes and when they like do a salute because that's when they actually show some musicality that they acknowledge artists from the past. I wish, to be honest with you, that they did that. One thing I've always admired about the Country Music Awards shows is that not only do they play live, but they also acknowledge the artists that paved the way. Way often than not, BET Award shows and these shows do not do enough justice to older established artists and people who should truly be acknowledged and respected, you know. And I think, like, tonight, they should have, like, a full... I take a whole half hour to do James Ingram, who passed recently, rest in peace, one of the most important R&B artists who, of course, was pop and was a versatile artist and performer. But they should do more to do stuff like that. Because they're always trying to defer to a lot of these acts that are out now who are lame. A lot of them are lame that are out now. And I see it. The rap game, for the most part, for every Kendrick Lamar you got, or J. Cole or something, you got some other of these cats that be lame turkeys doing a lot of trap, a lot of production, and stuff is just lacking. The R&B be lacking, and the sensibilities of doing something creative to be whatnot. And I'm going to say it like this. These shows are geared towards mainstream, so you figure people want to step their game up. You know, They need to step their game up. It's, it's been very hurting on the ears, and the lack of effort and the depth. That's gone on for a long time, though. Just getting comfortable, complacent. Because music is disposable now. Well, let's be real. Not only can you get it for free, you can you can put it like on your phone and put it on the left side and then kind of like do your playlist and flip it. It's like a sadness state of affairs for artists who don't get their perf- pr- proper recognition. And then they get this watered down mess that's just, it's just sad. So, I'm not expecting much from the BET Awards show, really. I mean, I, you know, I watched it out of support, but the shows get lame and lame because they just have a lot of just dead weight on these stages. A lot of people can't perform, ain't got corny material and corny takes and stuff, you know. Um, I would say do some uplifting and do something that would be powerful, you know. I wish there was somebody making statements about these racist cops and talking about a racist crooked Trump and also getting about how the agendas that are going on because you're not getting stuff that's reflecting what needs to be hidden. You know, you need some songs and some material. You need more artists that are like making it, making a stance and not just some old fluffy award show that's going to give some, some, Happy heads, token awards to grin around and chase around and be happy. Need to do something to make a real stand. So, anyway, that's my take of what I'm expecting from the BT Awards show. I don't know what you're expecting, but feel free to leave me your comments, your suggestions. Would you like to see on these award shows? You know, put some respect on if you can. Anyway, uh, when the bell rings, a new video, and I'm out. Peace.